Hi everybody, um, this is Jules and thank you for visiting my channel once again. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, do more more things with um, stock controller. If you don't know what stock controller is, it's a mobile application that you can use for inventory and it's 100% free. Um, there is a paid option, but you can use it for free. So I'm going to show you how to do certain things that um, I found out that some people were asking in my comments for the previous video I did. So I did a video about how to use Stock Controller. So the basics of Stock Controller. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to put a, a link in the description so you can check that out and use this as a follow-up video. Now the first thing... Um, I'm going to do is some people were asking if it can be used for products with expiry dates and yes it can so if your product has expiry dates if you use consumables you can definitely use stock control and I'm going to show you how to put the expiry dates in so first and foremost you have to set up to let stock controller know that your products have expiry dates quite a number of things to choose from and then there's part, the part that says expiry date. My products don't have expiry dates, but if yours do, you just check this box right here and you're on the right path. So now if you add um, a product, so let's go add inventory. Um, let's just say any product. Let's, I have put a test product here. I called it test <laughs> very basic and um, so let's use that product test we added mm -hmm. here so when we we've added a product test it's just a name I made up for this and then it has expiry date here and it is given a default expiry date so you should go in and put your expiry date in 17th October 2019 whatever date it's expired just put it in there and say okay so when you do this you just um, you add the quantity if it has any taxes discounts etc so all of this is in the other video so and then save and then that it's done so now when your product is close to expiry stock controller will alert you so you you need to check your notifications and you see which products are close to expiry all right so that's that so another thing someone asked um on stock controller is or if it even uses you can use barcodes and yes you can use barcodes with stock controller so in order to do that we add inventory so, so first and foremost when you're adding the product you add the barcode so we go to add data and we scroll through and we choose add product now i could just give it a name Okay, so we call it high. Yeah, we'll call the product high. Give it a weird ass code, HH. And then um, you can, the type of unit it is, and then the type, whatever. You put that in the description. It's not really necessary if you know your products, but if things get confusing, you can add that. The price of the product, the tax. The alert for um, uh, inventory quantity and then here's what we need the barcode so you can manually put in the barcode by typing the numbers <laughs> or you could scan it so whichever works for you I feel like scanning is way easier so I'm gonna show you how to scan so I'm currently just using um, a book as an example so you have to turn on your flashlight so it's nice and clear sometimes it gets a little tricky but yeah it picked it so make sure I'm doing this in the night at uh, you know in a dark room fairly dark room so it's not the best but do it at a good place so you press save and then hi <laughs> which is your product has been saved 
now like the whole procedure you have to add inventory so make sure that in the general settings section and add inventory you show you you select show option to scan barcode it's usually not selected so you have to select it so if you use a device that you're connecting to your phone um, like the handheld um, scanners you can also select this to turn it on I'm not using that and I think it's I think it's extra cost so you don't really have to so now you go to inventory and I can do this by scanning but I feel like it's too much time it takes too much time so I'm just gonna do hi and like search for the product by the name I see it here and then we're just gonna add some add the inventory maybe one just one the price eh, keep the price one tax one now we because we we have the expiry thing here it's it has expiry dates we just ignore it and we save so we have one high product so assuming someone buys this high product and you want to scan it and let's just say maybe it's a box of milk or i don't know whatever product it is so now we go to remove inventory then we go so this show barcode scanner thing is selected as i said if you have the handheld one select this as well i don't so so now it says scan a barcode so i'm just gonna go for my book turn on flashlight and voila scanned that's it and the product comes in so that's it and here's the product and here's the price and everything is just nice and boring so then I based on how many the person buys maybe the person is buying but we just put one so they can they can only buy one and then save that's it so so that's basically it. If there are any questions on anything else or any other way to use Stock Controller, let me know. And as I said, Stock Controller is free. It's a free app. Anyone can use it. It's brilliant for small businesses because record keeping is super important. So if you have it, you can keep records. You know the amount of stock you have. You know which products are going, you know, are being sold faster and which ones are have dead weight. So you get rid of those, etc. So if you have any more questions, let me know and I will do another video for that. Thank you. Bye.